This was called an Article 32 hearing. It was held here at Hanscom where our cameras were not allowed. Air Force prosecutors are arguing that Jack Texera should face a court martial. In his military uniform, not prison garb and shackles, Jack Texera appeared for a hearing about whether he will face a court martial. The 22 year old airman from Dighton was an IT specialist assigned to the intelligence wing at Otis Air Base. He pleaded guilty in March to federal charges, admitting he accessed, removed, then posted classified documents to social media. Now, Air Force prosecutors argue he should face military justice. Federal government's case on the civilian side is concerned primarily with the dissemination of classified information. Here, it's about the access after having uh, been told not to access it. And that's the crime he's charged with. It's not the access of the information, but disobeying a direct order. Texera is also facing a potential charge of obstruction of justice for destroying his electronic devices when learning he would be arrested. One of the Air Force prosecutors said obeying orders are at the core of everything we do. He was aware of the exceptional grave danger. But his defense argues this is double jeopardy, saying prosecutors are using a big feast of evidence from a Boston courthouse, walking it over here to get a pound of flesh. So at the end of the day, the, the Air Force, as I'm sure all the various service branches would want to make it very clear to their, their soldiers, sailors, airmen, uh, that, hey, you know, if, if you cross the line on this, there's going to be penalties that are going to be paid. The hearing officer today will make a recommendation and then the general court's martial convening authority will make a final decision on whether Texera will face a court martial. As for the federal case, he is scheduled for sentencing in September. At Hanscom, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.